Morning, welcome to the shed. Uh, I did record the door entry but it didn't work for some reason, or I tried to. So today we are uh, starting a new project, another one of our refurbishment ones, there's a couple more of these in the pipeline, uh, something a bit different. So this box here was given to me or to my wife by uh, my father-in-law who died earlier this year. It's in a bit of a state uh, and my task is to refurbish that I'm not stripping it down, I'm just going to give it a light sanding, but the hinges are all knackered. What I'm going to do, I'll bring, bring you in closer and show you the problems that we've got. I want to make it a usable, presentable box. It doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't the repair shop. Okay, so what we've got here is a box. I don't know, I guess it's mahogany. Um, no idea of the age. Probably Edwardian, Victorian. But it's in a bit of a state. The main problem is that somebody's whacked some hinges on here and they don't hinge in the right place. The correct place to hinge is on these pins here, which are all bent and twisted. So the first job is going to be take off those hinges and see if we can either repair the original ones, which they look like might be possible, or replace them. Apart from that, this leather here is all screwed up. So I think, I mean, I might try and polish it, but I think because basically because there's some stuff missing, I think I'd be better to get a nice bit of red or green leather and just reinsert that without the embossing and just, just go for that. Apart from that, it's gonna be a sand and a polish. Uh, nice little box there. Seems to be signed by my father-in-law. So we'll leave that, we won't sand that off. Bit of polish. A light sanding, polish up the brass bits. There's some initials on there as well. He probably got this from a car boot sale or, or a, you know, market stall somewhere, just like me. So that's the next project. First thing to do is take it apart. Okay. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. There's also this piece here is hinged, or was hinged, presumably, by the leather. I'm not sure about that. Okay, we'll take it apart and have a look, see what happens. Screwdriver, smallish. Okay, that's the uh, extra hinges taken off. Um, we're gonna try and do your close up here. Can you see that? It's quite a nice little hinge and the actual metal is still there on both sides, but it is severely damaged. And then on this piece, there is a, a pin. This side is missing the pin, but as it's just the pin, I might be able to replace that. So, somehow, I've got to try and straighten them up. Um, I also notice, seems to have a little lock here for this uh, top, which, which is quite a nice little touch, actually. That suggests it's actually quite a decent quality one. It's just got a little uh, brass, oops, take that off. A little brass latch there, which is quite nice. Don't know if we can free that up. It's not working at the moment. I'm not sure if those have been added as well. They look like they might have been. I'll probably leave them. Okay, so hinges off, twist them into shape. Good old clean up. Try and find a piece of leather and uh, then we'll be back to where we were.
the leather definitely has to go. So let's take these off. So I've done some further work cleaning up the box, just basically using meths and wire wool. It does a really good job, makes the brass work look nice. Obviously it now needs polishing because it's left a residue. Um, so the next step, so that's how it will look. That's obviously the back. It's a bit sort of uh, the wrong way around. Um, it's gonna look nice, very nice. Once that's polished, that'll look amazing. Now, next step, and most important step, is to try and straighten out these hinges. So we've got a, uh, what have we got? We've got a female, we'll call it, for want of a better word, which is this one, and the male, which goes, so it's all completely out of shape. So I've got to try and bend that back into position. So I'm going to go over to the metalwork vise, see if we can get that bent. I'm not going to heat it up. I'm hoping I can do it just by a pair of pliers and by uh, threading this through and twisting it. This is where it probably breaks. Okay, let's go over the vise. I realise you're probably not going to be able to see very much of this. But basically I've got a screwdriver that's about the right diameter. I'm just going to... Obviously it is brass, so it should be fairly soft, but hopefully not too soft. I'm sure you probably can't see that. I've also got my head torch on as well, so that I can see what's going on. Not brilliant, but passable. We might be able to get these to join up and make an actual hinge. This is actually twisting a lot easier than I thought it would. I suppose that's the idea. There you go, look at that. This is probably the hardest bit of the whole restore, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh, that's a problem, that doesn't fit in there. Okay. Do not want to lose this pin. There we go. One fixed repaired hinge. The problem is the other one hasn't got a pin, so I've got to make a pin for that. That went really well actually. Managed to straighten those out quite easily, give them a little polish. I've now got two hinges made from the original bits. On this one, again, I don't know if you can see the detail on there, but I used the stem of a, a pop rivet and just ground it down, which gave it a little bit of a sort of a, a round over on the edge. They're not super straight, but I think once we get those fitted, which we're gonna do in a moment, that'll look good. Okay, screw these in. They're only fairly lightweight screws, so I think they'll be okay. Not a massive amount of grip. There was a time where I would have just forced that and made it fit. But this is the new me taking my time. Or trying to. Okay, so that fits nicely. However, these screws are not gripping very much. So I need to 
either get some longer screws or fill those out slightly. I'm guessing it's been forced at some point. But it lines up nicely. Okay. That is really nice actually. I like that. So let's get the other bits and see if we can work out what we've got to do with the leather. That's all you need. Just got a phone call from somebody saying I'd had an accident. Right in the middle of filming. Brilliant. Okay. Right. So those two pieces fit in there. I need a piece of leather that fits across there. And that is your writing slope or desk. I reckon that'll be quite nice. Basically we glue the whole thing in there, cross these two beams in the middle, and then this little groove here will be where it hinges. I can't do that all the way up. I should go this way anyway, shouldn't I? So I guess that probably leaves a little bit of leather sticking out the back, but that's how it is. So tomorrow I'm going to go and get some leather and some wax polish. I've ordered some leather for the inside, tried to get some on the market, they didn't have any. So I've ordered a couple of pieces of leather for there. In the meantime, I'm going to give it a little polish. See how it looks. has had a couple of coats of wax now and this is the buff up not the final buff up because I probably will polish it as we go along but I just couldn't wait to see what it looks like looking nice Spent some time, you just saw me there, uh, just carving out these edges slightly, and that's because the leather that I managed to get, talk about that in a minute, is a little bit thicker than it should be really, um, and so I needed it to sort of uh, be level with the, the surface of the wood. So I've had to take a couple of mil or a mil out just to make sure that that will marry up okay. I think the red's too red probably going to be the black but I might just try putting a bit of boot polish on there see if I can uh, tone it down a bit let's try that now I'm very much in uncharted territory here I've got some black polish I'm about to ruin my black my red leather Well, that is darkening it up a bit. I don't know if it's going to make the right sort of colour though. So this project's actually been on the back burner for, for a week or two while I waited for the leather. So we've got to order some more. Oh, it's going to take even longer. I don't really want to do that. They don't have this travel on the repair shop. That 
actually, I think that might do the job. What do you think? Sort of darkened it, put a bit of an age to it. Okay. okay, let's cut that to size and see if we can get it to fit. Where the screws on the lid were uh, fitted, they were just coming loose. So what I've done is I've drilled out and I'm just tapping in some dowels just to restore the wood basically. Made a bit of a mess of that one, but the other two look quite good. And then I'm just taking the chisel and very slowly taking the top off of that. I'm getting better at this, aren't I? Starting to be like a, wood, a real woodworker. Nice to have a sharp chisel, that makes a hell of a difference. Just using a little braddle to get it started. I like all this a braddle, but I think it's also called an awl. Okay, that's the hinges fixed. It's not super pretty, but it's not bad. Beautiful. They came up quite nicely, those. So, next stage, or the stage that I'm working on also, is this leather. So I've, I've uh, glued the first bit in there. The red looks all right when I've dulled it down a bit. I'm gonna have to fill in some wax, I think, or something in there. So the next stage is to glue across these two parts. I'm, going, I'm doing them one at a time actually, just to make it easier for me. Um, so I'm glue there, glue there. That'll give us my hinge on the uh, when the box opens and closes. Also gives the hinge. I could get my finger under it. I don't know quite how you're supposed to do that. It probably needs a bit of ribbon or something on it. That'll also give the hinge for that. That's the next stage, glue that up. So the box is now complete. Um, I have fitted the leather. Looks really nice. I've aged it using some furniture polish and I used a bit of that wax to cover my errors at the side of the leather. It isn't easy to cut leather to shape because as you cut it, it moves. The, good, the plus side of that is that you can then push it into position, so it does stretch a little bit. But I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Um, I fixed the hinges, so I reinforced those and fixed those, and also lined the bottom of this one <laughs> with leather, just for your know, paper and stuff. Just add a bit of spare leather that I used for that. So all in all, very happy with that. I've obviously given it a good clean and a good polish. It probably needs a few more layers. But that will uh, build up a shine in time. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, so I'm very happy with the results. Um, I've managed to fix all of the issues. So the hinges, which is obviously the main one, uh, the leather or the, the writing surface, that's all fixed. Um, giving it a good clean up, looks really nice, managed to keep the antique qualities, um, so it's still an antique piece, I haven't stripped it back, I didn't use any sandpaper in the end, just a bit of uh, wire wool and meths. Okay, very happy with that, I hope you like my Christmas jumper, this is actually going to be a Christmas present for somebody, uh, I'm hoping that she'll be happy, I think she will, I don't think I actually showed you that bit of leather just uh, sneaking out the back there, which actually looks quite nice, that's the hinge for these the flaps. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.